is Jason Newland, and this is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. where you're not going to be disturbed but it's okay if you are because then you just deal with that and come back and continue to listen if you choose but what you might find and you might already have found if you are a regular listener sounds instead of being something external out of your control those sounds are just 
just there. Just the same as oxygen is there. We don't wish to control oxygen. So why, why wish to control sounds? We accept that quite often we accept the temperature. And of course, if you're indoors, you can put the heating on and control the temperature via a thermostat but when you're outside you can wrap up or you can take clothes off but ultimately you can't change the temperature outside and there's that degree of acceptance that's Necessary and useful to have some peace of mind, to have that realization that not everything is within our control, and nor should it be. Why should it be? It's okay. The sounds to be there. And it, this took me a long time to realize. That actually there's something quite nice about having some wind some rain rattling against the window or a dog barking in the background maybe cars driving past there are some people that live near an airport and they say of them seem to say that not that I've interviewed everybody but they say that they kind of just forget that the planes are there because they get used to it plus in a way if you move into a house near an airport you're in no position to complain about the sounds of the planes complain about the plane because you know that the sounds of the planes are going to be there it's like me eating it peanut butter sandwich and moaning because I don't like peanut butter or why did I eat the peanut sandwich peanut butter sandwich these sounds into our sleep in fact I don't know about you but sometimes the sounds outside whether it be a neighbour in the bar in the bathroom you can hear them if you've got thin walls in your house or a car or maybe a neighbor's television or the wind the rain whatever sometimes that sound is something to focus on and it's sometimes much nicer than the sound and the thoughts and that rattling that's going on inside your own mind and by rattling I mean that chat that those thoughts that maybe have gotten in the way of you sleeping deeply in the past I don't think that 
concerns and things that you're problems and stuff like that is never gonna be conducive to a good night's sleep yeah it's basically if you poured oil or petrol into a swimming pool to the top and you set fire to it and the whole of the top of the water was on fire that is not a good time to go for a swim and in a sense that's what we're doing you think when we go swimming and we go to sleep it's deep depth is endless but you can't get there if there's this fiery stuff on top those mm. thoughts of worries and concerns and dreads and reliving arguments and all that stuff that may be going around in someone's head it's like that fire on top of the water, the water being sleep, healing, relaxing, calming sleep. So in a way, by thinking about that stuff, you're pouring that petrol on top of the water and you're setting fire to it yourself. Eventually, the fire will go out because of all the water underneath. The fuel will run out, and then it'll just be water, quite dirty water. But eventually, all the slimy stuff at the top will move to the sides. And the rest of the water will be clear and then you can go to sleep naturally but why wait for that to naturally happen when you can just decide now that you're no longer going to allow that process to happen when it's time for you to go to sleep because then you deserve to just sleep easily and naturally in the way that you know you can in the way that you know you have many many hundreds and thousands thousands of times in the past falling asleep so easily and then woken up a few hours later eight hours later nine six seven ten however many hours later feeling so refreshed because it's something worth remembering those things in your mind which your mind you kind of know we all know that our mind needs to sort it out that our mind perhaps needs to process what's happened during the day maybe during the last month and I think we know instinctively that during our sleep when we're in bed that is the time when a lot of that those thoughts and those issues are processed within our unconscious mind 
So in a way, what you've been doing is a really intelligent thing because you're offering the things that you're focused on that you want to be resolved and you're offering those things to your unconscious mind so basically you're prepared you're going to bed prepared but the way it backfires is unconscious mind doesn't need you to consciously do anything which actually makes it easier for you so when you go to bed when you lay down on your bed and head touches the pillow, your body feels relaxed and you can just drift off knowing that during your sleep your mind will process everything that needs to be processed. During this, your sleep those issues that maybe are difficult to deal with when you're awake can be dealt with maybe in a more gentle way when you're asleep because when we're asleep we're not criticizing ourselves when you're asleep kindness is there when you're asleep gentleness is there when you're awake those things can also be there but that's something that you need to choose for yourself to be kind to yourself to be gentle to yourself when you're awake that has to be your choice and when you're asleep your conscious mind is not needed that's a chance for your conscious mind to go on holiday and relax and forget about everything because your sleep deals with everything as far as the processing of your mind goes think about it in a technical way it's a bit like in the old days and I don't know I don't know if it's still done computers laptops used to be defragged defrag grenation or something basically it would just reset everything and free up the space Laptop, laptops still do that phones still do that just get reset updated it happens naturally when you're asleep this doesn't happen when you're awake it happens naturally when you're asleep of course you can make changes when you're awake about sleep we're talking about naturally processing those issues that maybe have been getting in the way in the past of you actually sleeping those thoughts thinking about stuff and I get told by people that listen to my podcasts one of the big obstacles that they have is the thoughts that they are having when they're trying to sleep and at the very least listening to me can relax you and listening to me can distract you from those 
those thoughts and hopefully with some of the suggestions and ideas that I offer you can actually make major changes to your sleeping patterns and ultimately to your mental well-being, your physical health and your life because sleeping well transforms your life. Sleeping easily transforms the way that you experience yourself. It transforms your mind, transforms your thoughts, transforms your behavior towards yourself and others. It also transforms the way you feel about sleeping easily and naturally. From now onwards, easily, sleeping easily, and sleeping naturally by putting trust in yourself. 